What's up, folks? Welcome in. My name is Drumroll Tony. In this video, we're going to be watching Tim Henson and Marcin play guitar. Now, I know them individually. I have not seen the video of them playing together. This was suggested in my Discord. Uh, I imagine it's going to be ridiculous, but in a great way. Okay, I'm excited. Let's go. Marcin, Tim Henson, this is Classical Dragon. Here we go. I like the art there. Before, before Tim comes in here, let's go back and talk about it. It might be a weird, this feels like a mashup between like playing God and I don't remember the other one. It, it kind of, even with, you know, we get the mood set here, we're going to pan out, but uh, it's just the way the kind of the fidelity change on the guitar intro and just how this kind of comes in with the progression a little bit. Also it being called classical dragon kind of feels like flamenco jazz fusion dragon. Like this change right here and then the inevitable drop to, you know what I'm talking about? The way the the rhythm hits are designed there, it's cool. Now I don't know it, who's the rhythm. Is it is it Polyphia's rhythm section? Because the bass playing feels like Clay and Clay, especially Clay Ashland on drums with the way kind of trap esque, you know, like just out of the way. Because the the guitar is such a prominent role in this. Obviously, it's it's very like this genre, whatever you want to call it. It's like the Tim Henson Polyphia genre. But I know it's not Polyphia. This is the duo between them. I'm sorry. It's just. It's the style, the, the the way the bass and drums are being used together. It's so spacious. You have to be, when the guitar is so prominent as the main voice here, you got to stay out of the way. Otherwise, it gets too crowded. But I'm just curious if it's them playing because it feels like... Mm. Just a little stuff like that. Nice use of syncopation. Uh, it makes it very enjoyable to listen to. And stuff like that and then it just breathes and it drops into nothing that i love that kind of resolution because we're just pushing and pushing and pushing and crescendo and then whoosh, nothing that melody just the snaps strong bad <laughs> the, the runs are wicked clean though like that's 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 impressive that's super fun to listen to especially on metal string guitar I, I, I mess around on guitar i don't i used to say i play guitar when you're like a kid you're playing stuff then you see real musicians you're like oh okay cool i just mess around on guitar i have a hard time playing these kinds of, it, it hurt my fingers man my one of my old teachers he was all about bluegrass you know, we used to fuck around with that and i was like god damn dude give me give me a classical guitar anyway let's keep going Oh, I, I like the, the, ba -da -ba, and then the, the crossover hand with the gliss uh, up the neck. That's fun. That's cool writing. I dig it. It's very, it's very them. You know what I'm saying? We're like, I feel like it's so big, 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 about. We're always getting six, you know, triplets. It's like the predominant function of the rhythm 
just massive arpeggios, but that seems to be because it works so well versus doom, tick, 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 our little trap stuff that's going on in drums. You can be wide open or you can play against it and play with it. So I understand why. I'm just like, yes, yes, lots of those, lots and lots of those. But see, that's my favorite part. Coming out of that and then the harmonic resolution. That's fucking sick, dude. That's difficult. Yeah, the little, little oh, dude, the octave sliding there. And then one more time. Sorry, I apologize. That's just, that's clever. Oh, George Benson type. A little, little bluesy right there, too. Okay, I'm digging. Yeah, that, that chord progression and the way it's lined up with the hits and the rhythm section, it feels very plain God ish now is that a problem no it just it feels awfully awfully similar for me do i care no not really but it, it kind of like it's like okay yeah, yeah. What all right what's tim gonna do with this Tim's uh, finger-picking style with the progression here within the ar arpeggios, that I feel like it, I mean, he was already jam. dare I say, like, he's gotten better. Like, if, or I'm just feeling it, it just feels different. It's also been a little bit since I was, I've been, I, you know, when I first did a reaction video to them, then I started listening all the time. Went to a show, actually. It was, it was a good show. Uh, anyway, that's really impressive. Like, that's really impressive. I like you know, Marcin's style, too. Like, it's very, very animated, super aggressive. I'm I'm more into this, though. Like, I, I just kind of like to look and see what's going on here. I feel like um, uh, sometimes less is more. Not knocking the other style at all. It's There's something there for everybody, but there's some very complicated things that happen. Plus, timbre. I like this timbre better. Yeah, that's very interesting. The pulses that we're getting there. Hold on, please and thank you. There, there's some uh, dead, some ghost notes in there. Not ghost notes, just muted strings. We come out of the clean tone to muted back to back to clean. I think it's kind of complicated to do that. Cool. Oh, I guess he just resolved on that. It's fun though. Oof, nice chord choices. What the fuck is happening right here? It fit, I couldn't see the right hand. It feels like there's like a mix of uh, finger picking slash like pull on stuff going on, but it's so percussive with the way we're getting it. Jesus, dude. That's just like stupidly good. Oh my god, too many notes. You all seen fucking Amadeus? Oh my god, too many notes. Exactly. Very well put. Too many notes. That's a lot of notes. It's cool though. It's nice that guitar is like on a forefront again. I mean, guitarists have always been here, but like, it used to be like the primary thing, right? You know, then like other like genres of music became popular, and I feel like right now there are so many young people that are just so beefy at the instrument, and I feel like Tim has a lot of responsibility and influence. Not, I mean, it's it's more than just Tim, obviously, but uh, when things get cool, and social media is like such a gateway, you know. But this is really, really demanding stuff. Like most people spend their life and will never be able to play stuff like that. It's crazy, dude. It is absolutely crazy. Okay, we're going to get into the duet section. Sorry, I just had to geek out a little bit on the uh, 
all that finger pick stuff going on. Here we go. I'm cool with that part. And it's the other over the bar line. Just figured that we get at the end. That's just absolutely stupid, but in a great way. Let's grab that all again. It's coming. Yeah, I appreciate it. Bonk, bonk, gunk. Notes, 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 notes. And it's continued to go and go. I dig the, uh, the the drop tuning there on the the outfit switch in the video. Cool, cool artist design and the visual side of this. Uh, the drumming that was cool, very percussive. Like I feel like you know he does that a lot. It, it was just nice to have that at least get one. You know we get one full fill from him that is strictly percussive uh, on the guitar. There. It's just a nice ad, man. It's a nice ad. Okay, let's take it out here. Unresolved. I love it. Okay, man, that was cool. I'm, I'm such a sucker for a nylon string. This, you know, I, it's cool. It's fun to watch Marcin play in both, but I, re I really, I just prefer that sound. That was a really great, like, duet, though. Like, to see both their styles put together and you get the greatest parts of both of them and jamming on, on what, what it is that they do. So, man, guitar is so complicated, so demanding when you see people on this level play. It's uh, also frustrating. But it's inspiring, though. It's very cool. Okay. I will see you guys in the next one soon. Bye-bye.